G'day, my name is Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia and today we're going to be showing you the Bevel Citrus Press 800 series per, um, professional grade uh, tools, that's what's written on here anyway, that's the manual for it. Um, pretty much this is the manual, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, um, pretty easy to to set up and to organise this thing once you know you've got two different um, filters or two different pulp filters if you want to find the juice this is the operating thing how, how you set it all up and before you even like turn it on and stuff like that and also tells you how to go about pulling it apart cleaning it and so forth like that so we'll leave that aside first of all with this thing to pull it apart, like this one here just pops off. So that's pretty simple. Right? And when you put it back into place, hit a click, that's it. Now, this here is simply a dust guard. That's the thing. These are all dishwashable, to put them in the dishwasher before. So that's the juice, the main part of the juice. It's very heavy. This one is on the filters, and that's the other filter. So I'll leave it. Um, and this is where the juice simply goes um, into the machine when you're juicing it. See how easy that pull apart? That's pretty easy to clean here, and so forth. And that little button, a little swing there, that lets the juice out and lets the juice in. So what I normally do, set that up like that, put that into there. So all the juice will come out to here. And I'm there. Like so. So that's working. Will not activate. Now I could turn this on. Right? That won't work. This has to come down. So the next thing is to juice up some lemon. Uh, not lemon. Oranges. Uh, what's this way? What you do, what I do is I find it easier just to give it a bit of squeeze, push that on, right, and just hold that down. You can hold it down a bit longer if you want to. that for a second. I'll show you how much juice there is. That's just from one orange. Put a bit more in there. You can see there's not much um, pulp in that. Which is strange, which is good. Is the, well pulp's there. You could probably squeeze that a bit more and get more out of that if you really wanted to. But that's pretty dry. So we'll continue on. All these oranges have to be done. I kind of like this juice. It was really worth the money in actually buying it. Oops, that's going to pick more of that one. You can see how, I mean, how easy this is to use. Right. And the quality of it is absolutely brilliant. You can pretty much juice whatever you want to juice, right? And as long as it fits in here, you can do it. 
I think it's really designed like for oranges and stuff like that. Mm. Bigger fruit. Oh, just a little bit more there. Good. It's really ripped it out. <laughs> now excess like this stuff here. You just peel off and then go straight into there. Now go straight that or go into a night um, into the compost. But as you can see, that's what three orange juice. I still got to clean this up now. I still got three more to go. That there is a juice of three oranges. I'll continue on. I'm going to get all this orange out of here because it's the orange we have to use. But I'll just scrape all this off and put it into the um, into here. We're going to go straight into the recycle. But as I it's pretty easy to to use and not only use, it's pretty easy to pull apart and to clean, which I find that's the key to these type of things. If it really does its job like this, like I, then that's all that matters. It's like it does a fantastic job. Might as well finish off these last three oranges while you're, while you're watching the video. And we'll see what six oranges can produce juice wise. Now if you want a pulpier um, orange juice you use the other filter. But I want a nice clean orange juice. I don't like having to, to deal with pulp. And the stuff you buy in the shops, they've got other, other stuff into it, and this stuff here by itself is sweet as it is. Probably have to get an orange juice peeler. Comes out pretty, pretty good. We've got this to go. Over. Like you're left with a little bit of juice up at the top up there. You could be pedantic and scrape that down, but honestly, you don't need to. Well, you could clean it as you're doing it, and then. You won't have that problem. So, this holds six oranges. I think that's six oranges. Yeah, six oranges. Yep. And as you can see, what's in here and what's here is left of that oranges. Now you could use this for other stuff if you want to do cooking or other, other things. Um, I prefer to just... So that there, now we'll go into the fridge and... I'll we'll stay in the fridge anyway, but um, if I pour myself a little bit of orange juice, you can mix it with something else if you wanted to, just to water it down or to add other things into it. Um, and that's fine, I'm ha I'll, I'll be happy with that. So, let's get the last little bit of juice. It's okay. Let the last little bit of juice flow. I'll scrape all this out. But anyway, um, yeah, thank you again for watching. My name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia, signing off. Thank you again for watching a um, quick demonstration of the be bevel citrus press um yeah and all come yeah, thank you again for watching and all comments are welcome you all have a great day now good day my name is wilfred west from locksport victoria australia and today we're going to be showing you the bevel citrus press 800 series per, um, professional grade 
uh, tools. That's what's written down here anyway. That's the manual for it. Um, pretty much, this is the manual. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Um, pretty easy to 